Whoa. We got less than two more weeks until Christmas. And you know, there's this thing that happens at Christmas. It's called a tradition where you get other people gifts. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys a list of the best Christmas gifts to get a person who loves tech just like me. best here and today we got the 2020 Christmas tech list where I give you guys all the Christmas gift ideas for the people who love tech just like me all right so originally when I thought of doing this video I wanted to make it really tech related because this is a tech channel so right here in front of me I have a lot of cool tech I have stuff from audio to storage, to charging, to microphones, to accessories, to everything here. So we're gonna start in this video from the cheapest, and then as we go on, we'll get to the most expensive at the end. All of these links will be down in the description below if you guys do wanna check them out. But besides that, without no further ado, let's start it. So, as you can see on this desk here, we got a speaker, Beats, both AirPods, we got a portable charger, a hard drive, we got a charger, wireless charger, blue snowball ice microphone, USB-C digital AV adapter, and a USB-C hub. So to start, the cheapest one on this table, make a guess right now. Guess down below in the comments which one is the cheapest. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right. And so the cheapest on here actually is the USB C digital AV adapter. It goes from USB Type C to USB C, HDMI, and a USB Type A, which is an amazing accessory for anyone who has a computer or a phone or a iPad or any other tablet which uses USB Type C. This is your go-to for that. Here, next, is a USB hub. So it goes USB-C in, and then on the back, you got an array of ports. You have a full HDMI, a USB Type-C, two USB Type-As, an SD card, and a micro SD card slot reader. So those are always handy to have accessories in case you need different ports such as other things like that. Next, we got a wireless charging pad. Now this is a, is a Tazumi, I believe that's how you say it, wireless charging pad. It is a five volt charger, but this I use for my AirPods. Now I use this for my AirPods as they have wireless charging, and this is really good. You can just plop them on and then they charge overnight or whenever you need it. So this is the charging pad. It is micro USB still, which is a bit of a bummer, but you know, it is it is what it is. Next, right here, we have a portable charger. These are so handy. Whenever I go out, I always have one in my bag. This one right here is a 7,400 milliamp hour battery that is capable of probably two to three full charges of any phone guaranteed so this is an amazing one to have again it is the tazumi i believe that's how you say it and they call it pocket juice so this one is pretty amazing it has a lot of uses next is the shout out to all of the streamers or gamers out there this is the blue snowball ice microphone this is probably the best beginner microphone out there. As you can see, it looks exactly like a snowball. I can literally throw it at someone like a snowball, but then obviously I'd break it. It comes with a mini tripod stand, which you can use to put it down. Over there, my gaming setup, I have a boom arm for it, but this is so, so, so good. The sound quality for this cheap, you can't find it anywhere else, and that is why I love it. On the front here, it has a red indicator light to let you know when it is on. And on the back, it is USB type B. So a little bit outdated, but again, it is an old and it also is a beginner mic. So you can't really go wrong there. 
So my last video was about this guy right here, the WD five terabyte passport external hard drive. So you can pick this up literally anywhere, but this is five terabytes, five terabytes in this little thing for only around $150 Canadian. That is so good. I will put my video right here or here. I don't know which one it is, but if you wanna check out that full review, that is up there. All right, so what I have left is a wireless charger, a both AirPods, Beats, and a wireless speaker. Now, it may surprise you, but the wireless charger is the, I believe, third or second most expensive item here. I bought it at the Apple store for around $250 Canadian. So just hang in there. Next, we have the regular AirPods. AirPods second generation. You know these, you know the AirPods. Same old, same old. Now, AirPods came out last year. Second generation came out last year. Apple just came out with their AirPods Max a couple days ago. As we all know, the AirPods Pro are the pro version of it, but here are your regular AirPods. Link down below in the description. All right, so next is the wireless charger. It is actually the fourth most expensive. This is a Belkin wireless charger for, an, for a phone and for a smartwatch. So I have my iPhone and I have my Apple Watch. Apple Watch goes here, iPhone goes here. This is amazing. It also has an extra USB port at the back, which in fact, I use the Tazumi wireless charging pad for my AirPods. So this works well. Again, phone, watch, and AirPods using this USB port right here. This, when I bought my first Apple Watch, I found this at the Apple store and I just fell in love with it. It works so well and it is amazing. So be sure to check that out down below in the description. Okay, I want you to guess again, which one is more expensive? My Beats, my AirPods Pro, or this JBL Pulse 4? Let me know down in the comments below right now. Pause it, three, two, one, go. All right, so we have three items left. We have the Beats Studio 3, the AirPods Pro, and the JBL Pulse 4. If you guess the JBL Pulse 4, you are right. The JBL Pulse 4, is around 290 Canadian dollars. This speaker is amazing. I've done a video on that. It'll be either here or here. That's where you can check it out, the full review. But this speaker, the whole thing around it is RGB lights. Now it is USB type C to charge, which is always, always welcome. And this is the coolest thing, in my opinion, when you power it on. Whoa, that is just sick, I love it. And as you can see, it is all RGB all the way around. This is the JBL Pulse 4. It is amazing, it goes very, very loud. It has a subwoofer on the bottom and a driver on the top. So that is the JBL Pulse 4 and we have two items left. In Canadian, with tax and shipping, which one is more expensive? The Beat Studio 3? or the AirPods Pro? Let me know down in the comments below. Three, two, one, pause and go. In fact, after shipping and tax, the AirPods Pro is actually cheaper with the original launch price. AirPods Pro retail for around 300 and something Canadian dollars, but with tax, I paid over $400 for these AirPods Pro. We all know the AirPods Pro, they are amazing. From the noise cancellation to the transparency mode, the spatial audio, all the audio features, and I love this design. I love the silicon ear tips. Those are always welcome. This case I picked up at the Apple Store online. It is actually amazing. It is the Woolnex AirPods Pro case. Check that out, link below in the description. And last, but certainly not least, is the Beats Studio 3. Now I have done the Beats Studio 3 full review here or here, I still can't remember. But these are the Beats Studio 3, 
by far my favorite over the ear headphones. Everyone tells me that the Sony XM4s are amazing. Personally, I do not have them. I have the Beats Studio 3. I've always wanted to try them, so maybe in the future we'll get them here for a video. But for now, we have the Beats Studio 3, and I gotta say, these are amazing. Now, it is still USB, micro USB, as it is a little bit old. It has your headphone jack, it has your on and off button and your LED indicator. It has all your touch controls and button controls on the side here. And it is the comfiest pair of headphones I have ever, ever had. And as you can tell, I love red. We got the red on the arms. We got the red on the head. I got a red iPhone XR. Yeah, red is pretty amazing. But these are amazing. They retail for around, I believe, $399, these red ones. So again, link down below in the description if you guys do wanna check these out. I highly recommend all of these products. So yeah, all of these products are great, amazing Christmas gifts for anyone really who loves tech or anyone in general, because not all of these are niche specific because there are things from audio, to microphone, to wireless charging. Everyone uses a phone for wireless charging. I guess you could use it. We got storage, we got uh, portable chargers, we got accessories, we got all that here. So if you guys do want any of these, again, down below in the description are all the links. On your way down, you got that like button and that subscribe button, which you can hit as they are free. Because if you're going out to buy some of these for someone you like or love, Come on, you can do something for free. You don't even have to spend any money. All right, so these are all of the products I have for you on my 2020 Christmas tech list. So thank you for watching. Please do go out and have a great day and we shall see you in the next one.